blue. Game on. First round for men under 19 kilos, Tommy Creek. In white for Great Britain, Andrew Burns. In blue for Kazakhstan, Sama Yesen. Well, we saw Galstian. We saw Isaev. And now we're getting to see Agulaev. Galstian came through for bronze. Mansur Isaev was fifth place. Couldn't, couldn't contest the yeah, yeah. semi final of the bronze medal contest. Yeah. of the fighters have spoken about being exhausted. I think the heat has played a factor. Yeah, it's gotten yeah, to yeah. a few of yeah. them. You know, they, they give so much and it's difficult for them to recover or, or, or they found it difficult yeah. to recover. You often see fighters outside of the venue you know, get some fresh air and walking about, but not here because when they walk out they find it's 32 degrees or yeah, something. Yeah, intensity. You know, yeah. You don't want that kind of heat. So I think they're stuck in the venue and then they've not been able to recover well enough. A couple of them anyway. Right. What was it that troubled Haibulayev's finger? Some kind of tape. Just come off the to tell me to receive some treatment, isn't he? The medical team yeah. just working. Some this fingers is, this it looks KG like. watching on. Was it fingers then, Mark? Looks like that's what's being treated at the moment. He's just holding his fingers together. Wolf Aaron just waiting in the wings now, as much as he can do. Waiting like a wolf. <laughs> ready, to, ready to pound. Hungry like a wolf. Who was that? Who was it? First to come up with the answer, let us know. Who, who, whose um, piece of music was that? That's, a, that's an 80s piece, isn't it? Just wrapping Hungry two, like two of his fingers together, it appears to be Kai Blair. Oh, I don't believe it. What a music nerd, <laughs> <laughs> Chief. <laughs> He's straight in with the answer. Wasted youth, you see. Child of the 80s. <laughs> 80s, 80s baby. <laughs> he nailed that one, didn't he? It was like... I got that. Straight away. Didn't even give a chance to our viewers. <laughs> Hungry like a wolf. Duran Duran. Back in the way then, just under four minutes left. Probably still got the album. <laughs> <laughs> no score yet. Ibulayev having the fingers of one hand. Just taped up. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was just refreshing the bandaging on there. He had it on there in the beginning and just want, wanted to make sure. Both fighters pick up passivity penalties. Another one coming there. Oh, there we go. Time is for Wolf, who picks up the penalty for avoiding to take a grip. Thought about the left Ojigari.
Oh, almost caught him. And then there, it was uh, Hyper Life. Thought, okay, I'll Good have a go back, with the yeah. Sasai. Wolf's second attempt was that little bit more determined and had Hyper Life rocking for a moment. He's trying to set something up here. Oh, Hyper Life with his favorite Sode Tsurikomi Goshi, but that, that failed. Referee on mat number three is having a nightmare. <laughs> Just caught that out the corner of my eye. Second mistake that he's made down there. No final block for him then. He gave up on against Andrew Burns. Poor old Burns signaled the Yuko. He thought it was Yuko. They thought it was nothing. Cancelled it completely and now. And then he gave. No, it is a point they've given him. Now, well, well he, he, he gave Wazari. And now they're going to look at that one as well. And he's cancelled that one as well. Yuko is up and down. Up and down. Trouble for Warfare. Three penalties. Pipe Alive just coming it's off again. Up. Gemma Gibbons, the, the, same reason, yeah. the silver medalist at the London Olympics, is on mount number one now. If you want to watch, she faces. Takayama Riki, Rika of Japan, beg your pardon. Takayama Rika on mat number one. Suzuki so Kady just taking advantage of the time then to give some instructions to his man. Wolf Aaron from Toka University. watching uh, an overhead replay of the exchange of Tsurikomiyashi efforts. That should have been a drop. He probably did pick up a drop for it, actually. So a little bit of time being taken up here. As the tape is done. That scoreboard has changed down again. Look at it. I've seen. From Wazari to Yuko. I've seen anything like it. Up and down like no one's business, that, that is. Anyway, we're back underway with the action on mat number two. Hyperlive and Wolf. No score yet. Wolf, however, has picked up three penalties in his big Osodogari effort. The left sided has Hyperlive defending that strongly. And there's another effort with the Ashiwaza. Got to go brave here and get a bit closer in. Hyperlive comes back with his own effort. That's better. I believe I've slipped underneath. If he kept that grip there, I don't know why he decided to, um, yeah. Second penalty picked up by High Believe, an untidy contest between mm. this pair. Got out of hand on mat three, I tell you. <laughs> oh, nice Ojigari effort left side. Oh, that was poor. He's, c he's claiming that his hands are slipping, but I don't think that's one the there. Yeah. It's not what you want with 20 odd seconds left to go. Full level. Uh, big Ojigari effort from Wolf there. Just had Hyperlife stepping off it and stepping backwards. And eventually he catches him with exactly the technique that we were talking about. Wheels him over with Tsurikomiyashi for Ippon. As the contest went on, that was the way it was going, wasn't it, with Wolf? More active. Kai Balev seemingly distracted with the finger yeah, issue. Yeah, with the fingers, yeah, but that was beautifully done. And you can tell that it was just the slightest of touches with the feet. So it must all have come from the top half. Great um, Kazushi from Wolf as he throws the Olympic champion for Hippon. And a complete turnaround on map three in the last 20 seconds. This is exactly what our chief was talking about yesterday, where one fighter, having led by Wazari with a minute and a half, 
fought in a particular way and with 20 seconds left